Welcome to another series of the bariatric cooking class. Today we're going to be making a grilled tilapia with a mango salsa. I thought this would be a perfect recipe since we just celebrated Cinco de Mayo. So it kind of goes with the theme and also because we're feeling this warm weather and we're kind of craving these fresh ingredients and very light dishes. So I think this is going to be one you're really going to enjoy. Now, don't be over overwhelmed about the uh, ingredients list because it's a little bit long, but the recipe is super simple to make. So if you can find a little uh, kitchen helper to get you diced uh, the ingredients and get them set up, once you have everything set up, it's gonna be real quick procedure. All right, so let's get started. What I have here is about a third of a cup of uh, good olive oil. You can use extra virgin olive oil or just regular olive oil. And I have one tablespoon of lemon juice here, which I'm gonna add into the olive oil. So what we're doing is we're gonna make the marinade for the fish. I'm gonna whisk this together a little bit lightly. And then I'm gonna add the rest of the ingredients. I have about a tablespoon of freshly minced uh, parsley. Also a minced garlic clove. You can use dry garlic if you don't have fresh garlic. A teaspoon of black pepper, and this is also to taste, so if a teaspoon is way too much for your particular taste, then you can do less. Same with the salt. Here I'm doing about a half a teaspoon of salt, but this is also to taste. Now I'm gonna whisk everything together in this bowl. Really get that olive oil and lemon juice to combine. I have a sealable plastic bag where I'm gonna pour the marinade into. And I want every single drop of oil and every single piece of garlic that I see in there. So I'm gonna take out a little spatula and make sure that I get all of it in there. Actually, I'm gonna hold this bowl. Make sure I get everything in there. There we go. Now that the marinade is in the bag, I'm gonna put the fresh pieces of tilapia into the bag. I'm gonna seal the bag and get all that excess air out. Seal it well. And I'm gonna get toss that marinade all over the tilapia. Get that very well coated. The, the tilapia is now going to go in the fridge for about an hour so that it really soaks up the flavors. All right, I'm going to put this in the fridge and I'll check back in in an hour. Now we're going to prepare the mango salsa. I have one whole mango that I peeled and diced. I have about two tablespoons of finely diced red onion one teaspoon of dry basil, two tablespoons of lime juice, one tablespoon of lemon juice, about half of a medium-sized red bell pepper, finely diced, and I have the fresh cilantro that we just brought from the garden to slice. So let's get started. I have the mango here on a big bowl, so I'm just gonna toss all of the ingredients together. Basil, lime juice, and I'm gonna do one tablespoon of the lemon juice, okay. And I'm gonna season with salt and pepper. This is to taste. Now, 
Now I'm going to grab my chef knife and I'm going to dice the cilantro or chop the cilantro. I like to keep the cilantro leaves on the larger side because that way when I get a bite of cilantro, the flavor is stronger. But if you're the opposite, if you like cilantro but you don't want too much strong of a cilantro taste, then just uh, chop it really, really fine. But I'm going to keep it kind of like a large chop, rough chop. I'm just going to pick up anything that's left over in the cutting board with my knife. It's the easiest way to do that. Rinse my hands really quick. And I'm just going to toss everything together. Look at the bright colors, the yellow, the red, the green, the purple. This is just, it screams out warm weather recipe. I love it. Okay. That is all set. I'm just going to set this aside. You can leave it outside in the countertop or keep it in the fridge until the fish is ready to cook and then serve. Now that the fish has been marinating for an hour and we made the fresh mango salsa, we're going to go ahead and cook the fish. Today we're going to be cooking it in a grill. It really makes that flavor so much more bold with the smokiness that you get from the grill. I preheated this grill to 300, 350 degrees. It's actually going up right now, but once we open it, it's gonna cool down. Um, you don't have to use the grill. You can cook the fish on a skillet in a pan, but I really love the grill. And this is a great time to be cooking outside. The weather is great. So let's go ahead and do this. So I have the preheated grill and I put down some aluminum foil so that it doesn't stick on my pan. I've got the fish here and I'm going to drain out the excess olive oil, the excess marinade. So just shake it off and then place it on the grill. Mm, this smells so good already. The fish is going to cook in about uh, for about three to four minutes each side. The way to know if the fish is ready is it shouldn't be translucent. So it should be a, a, kind of like a darker uh, uh, white. And then if you try to flake it with your tongs, it would break apart. That's how you know if it's ready or not. So we're going to leave it for about three to four minutes each side. So I'm going to close the lid and we'll be back in three minutes. Now the fish has been cooking for about four minutes. I'm gonna try and give this a flip. Without breaking the foil. There you go. And I'm gonna leave it for another three minutes and it should be done. Now the fish has been cooking for an additional four minutes. It should be ready, but we're gonna check and make sure that it's actually thoroughly cooked. And the way to do that is by looking at the color of the fish. If you see the fish, it looks pretty white instead of translucent from the outside. That's one sign that this is ready to pull out. But another way to make sure that it's ready to pull out is to try and split it apart. It's split apart. Let me do that again. Fairly easy. Yep. And if you close up, you see that the meat is really, really white. So that tells me that this is ready to pull out. And how quickly these cook is going to depend on the thickness of your tilapia. But these are ready to go. So I'm going to pull these out. Turn off the heat and let's go inside to get this plated. 